Hoyland. Back to Mele. Good miners. First blood, Atalanta. Turn Cup Miners helps himself to his eighth of the season. The Gevis Stadium a lot less nervy now. Atalanta take the lead in the 12th minute of the game. All action all the time, Rovella. Once again, Monza lose out. This is Turn Cup Miners. Now Mele back to Turn Cup Miners. Di Gregorio with the initial save, but he can do nothing about the follow up. Cup Miners at the double. Right on the stroke of half time. Caprari, lovely flick. This is Rovella. Now Dani Motta. And now Colpani. An unbelievable strike from the ex Atalanta man. No celebration. On free kick duty here. I'm sure he'll be looking at adding to his brace in the first half. And the referee, Marco Di Bello, is going to have a look at it on the pitch side monitor. Has decided no penalty. Giampiero Gasperini has been sent off after his protests. There's a red card brandished immediately for Marlon. He's only been on the pitch less than a minute. The ball runs here for Cup Miners. Turn Cup Miners! And now Hoyland has his goal. Moments after going down to 10 men, Monza trail by two once again. A goal from a wonderful distance. Would you believe it? Atalanta make it four. Turn Cup Miners, take a bow. A hat-trick for the Dutch international. They go into Andre Petania, who's done really well. Andre Petania. It may just be a consolation, but what a consolation. Andre Petania did it all himself. Lovely flick around the corner from Lukman. This is Luis Muriel. Muriel! He takes over from Alessandro Matri, and he is now the substitute to have scored the most goals in Serie A. A topsy-turvy season finishes for Atalanta with a vital win, which ensures Europa League football is guaranteed for next season. Final score here at the Gevis Stadium, where it's finished. Atalanta 5, Monza 2.